Hello to all my Gemini viewers and subscribers. Welcome to your July 2017 love and romance reading. I hope that all of you guys are doing well. I want to let you guys know that my sale for my 30 minute and one hour readings or um, it'll it, I extended it to July the 4th. So I have about eight more days or nine more days for that particular sale. So get your readings while you can. Also, my Nephrite Jade Yoni eggs are on sale for a limited time as well. So I'm going to put my description or my link in the description box so that you guys can check that out or book your appointments. All right. So let's go ahead and hop into your reading. Also, I am um, I'm doing T and Tarot time. I got some emails in regards to T and Tarot. And so I'll be doing that sometime mid-month. So if you would like a opportunity for a free reading, inbox me. I'm gonna put my email in the in the description box and just give me a brief description of your situation. Okay. And um your name okay and on the 15th of the month i'll go ahead and do a drawing spirit what is the overall energy for my gemini's who are currently in a relationship what does the month have in store july 2017 yeah. pop-out card, Prince of Swords. All right, so the first thing that I'm seeing here is the Crossroads card as your overall energy, Gemini. So I feel like there needs to be, uh, there. there's some decisions that need to be made within your relationship. Um, you may be at a crossroad or unsure of what to do within your relationship or um, you may come to some sort of conclusion or make a big decision that may um, create some sort of transformation within your relationship this month at Gemini. All right, so we have the Prince of Swords, which popped out. So I feel like Gemini, you may be dealing with the air sign like yourself, or this could represent you as the Prince of Swords, because this is uh, this could be Gemini, um, Libra or an Aquarius that you're dealing with. This could be your significant other or again, this could represent you. All right. So this represents intellect and uh, mental thoughts here. His air represents your thoughts. So you're definitely in your head and you're thinking. And again, there are some decisions that need to be made. And I feel like you're going to be making some sort of decisions here. You have the Ten of Cups, okay, which represents love, happy home, family, togetherness, romance and happiness all right we have the transformation card so i feel like there's going to be major transformations that take place within your relationship this month and i feel like these are going to be positive transformations gemini and then we have the justice so i have a feeling that you're going to be getting what it is that you want um there's going to be some sort of enlightenment balance here all right because justice is also card for libra and so this would definitely represent um, the possibility for some a court date or just um, something taking place. It's going to bring forth um, an answer to whatever it is that you may be confused about or, you know, you bring in forth justice or your partner bring in forth some sort of fairness or justice. Um, but I do have a feeling that things will be going your way, your, your way this month, Gemini. 
Okay, so Spirit, please give me some clarification for the Ten of Cups and the Transformation and the Justice card. We're going to go through all three. So, these cards Right, Gemini. Okay, over the Ten of Cups here, I'm definitely seeing that you have the Ten of Swords and the Three of Cups. So I have a feeling that some of you guys may be having like a family gathering. Okay, this could represent your anniversary or a family gathering here that is going to be causing a lot of stress here okay i have a feeling that gemini you have to plan for some sort of big event and you're not really looking forward to it here okay it's a stressful situation for you it's almost as if you don't want to be included in this or you feel as though it's going to be a headache or a burden here okay Okay, I also have a feeling that that Gemini, that there's some fear that there may be a three-party relationship here going on. Okay. And I feel like you're happy in your relationship, but there is some underlining fear here that someone may be coming in and, and um there's definitely, there's definitely fear of a three-party relationship. That there may be, that your partner may be cheating on you. Okay. Fear that someone is going to try to come in and break up a happy home. But I'm definitely sensing that there is going to be some sort of family reunion, family gathering of some sort that you're not looking forward to. Here. All right, under the transformation card, we have the two of wands or the page of wands and the ten or the nine of swords reversed. So again, I feel like someone is waiting for a major change to take place within their relationship. There is some stagnation here, though. I feel like there's a choice, a decision that needs to be made within your relationship, but that you, there's definitely some fear that's going on here, Gemini, some restless nights and some stagnation here in your relationship. It's almost like you're, you're waiting for something to take place for some sort of major change, but it hasn't taken place yet. Okay, over the Justice card here, we have the Ace of Pentacles, as well as the Seven of Cups. All right, so I feel like you're trying to work towards getting what it is that you want, this transformation here. All right, but it's almost as if you're working really hard, but you're not getting what it is that you want with the Ace of Pentacles. It's like almost within your relationship, you're working really hard to bring forth a successful, loving uh, relationship, but th that things are have been kind of unsteady and ungrounded within your relationship. And again, it's almost like you're not getting what it is that you want. You have the justice card here. You're trying to gain some sort of justice, some sort of enlightenment, some sort of fairness here. You're trying to, it's like you're trying to get something and you're reaching for it, but you're not receiving what, you're not receiving it here. I have a sense, I have a feeling that there's a sense of imbalance within your relationship. 
working towards something but not getting what it is that you want here. For some of you guys, I do feel that you'll be going to court and this court could be, be you know, I feel like there's a situation that may be going on at work here where there may have been a lawsuit, okay? You may be working towards some sort of lawsuit, but um, you may not receive what it is that you want or as much money as you thought that you would receive here, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get some spiritual advice for your cards, Gemini. Let's get some spiritual advice for the Ten of Cups and the Justice card. Spirit, please give my Gemini viewers and subscribers some spiritual advice for the Ten of Cups as well as the Justice card. Lots of anxiety going on here, Gemini. Fighting for what it is that you feel you deserve within your relationship. I feel like this could also be a matter that may be taking place at work as well. It could be that you and your significant other are waiting for some sort of um, a hearing in court. Spiritual advice for the Ten of Cups and the Justice Card. All right, so the first card we, that we have here is the get to know each other. Learning to meet another's needs for love is important for relationships to grow. All right, and I feel like that definitely resonates with your reading because I feel like you're trying to make a decision or you're wanting a transformation, but you're not getting what it is that you want here in your relationship. And I feel like um, you and your partner need to get to know each other a little bit better and to learn to meet each other's needs here, Gemini, in order for the, the relationship to be a happy relationship. I do see the potential for a very happy relationship with the Ten of Pentacles here, or the Ten of um, Cups here. Like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Okay. And then your last card for spiritual advice is choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. So the decision is in your hands. If you're not receiving what it is that you want within your relationship, then the choice is yours, Gemini, to walk away from the partnership or to, to stay. Okay? And try to manifest that love within your relationship here. Okay? And again, with the justice card here, I feel like the opportunity is there for you to get what it is that you want, okay? But you have to send that energy out, okay? Like attracts like. You have to send that energy, you know, to your towards your relationship. Manifest on positive vibrations within your relationship. Vibrate on love. All right, so let's go, get, let's go ahead and get some more spiritual advice from the Soulful Women's deck. Here, here's my Gemini, some spiritual advice and love and romance within their relationship. Self-belief, creative cocooning, okay? So the first card that you have here is self-belief, 
Self-belief is the magic key that opens up a better, more inspired future for me. So again, this, this card is about manifesting, okay? This is about getting what you want within your relationship by using the law of attraction, Gemini. Okay, if you believe that this relationship will be a successful relationship and you start sending that loving energy that you want within your relationship towards your relationship, then you'll receive it. Okay, you just have to believe. Creative cocooning. Creative cocooning is a freedom I give myself. I create a safe nest for peace, healing, and calm. So I do have a feeling, Gemini, that you may need a break you may need time to um, do what it is that you love, what it is that you enjoy doing, and um, time to to kind of meditate on peace, love, as well as just giving your yourself the opportunity to be creative and do the things that you enjoy doing most without people being in your space. Okay. And that'll give you the opportunity to make whatever decision it is that you need to make for your relationship. All right, so Gemini, that is your reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you would like a private or a personal reading, again, my link is down in the description box below. And readings are on sale until July the 4th. I will see you guys again mid-month. Stay blessed, stay well, and ashe.